In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to do the binomial theorem. Now I know that sitting in class and your teacher starts teaching the binomial theorem and all of a sudden you are like, what is going on? I promise you, I'm gonna make it so easy. Check this out. The first thing you need to know is Pascal's triangle. So you start by putting a one, okay? And then you're gonna put a one and a one next to that. And then you're just gonna put a one and a one next to that. And you're just gonna keep going down like that. And I think we can go down about that many levels. Now what you do is you fill in the rest of the triangle. So the way that that works is you look at the top numbers. So this number and this number, if you add those two together, what do you get? You get two. So you're gonna put a two over there. Now to fill in this number, you just add the top two. So that's gonna be a three. And then you add in those top two to get a three. And now going into the next part, you add those, and that's gonna give you a four. You add those, it's gonna give you a six. You add those, it's gonna give you a four. And you just keep going on. So you stop, put a one, and then one plus four is five. And then four plus six is 10. Six plus four is 10. Four plus one is five and one. Now you can keep going as long as you need to go down. The next thing you need to know is the following. Um, let's call this, uh, let's call this the um, exponent. Okay, I'm going to call this the exponent. Or let's call it the, the um, so for example, if you have a bracket and there's a number out here, it's this number that I'm talking about. So let's call it, um, let's call it the power. Let's call it the power. Okay, now the power starts uh, for row one, it's gonna be a zero. For this row over here, that's gonna be a one. Let's actually do it a little bit neater. Okay, so let's do this. Um, just give me a second. It's my first day teaching, guys, give me a break. Okay, that was a stupid joke. Obviously, I've been teaching for many years. Um, <laughs> so going on, okay. So what we're gonna do now is let's put a zero, let's put a one, let's put a two, let's put a three, let's put a four, and let's put a five. So these are called the powers, okay? And of course, you can keep going as far as you need to. So the way that it works is the following. Step one, I want you to look at the power. So the power is a four. So let's quickly go construct this triangle. It's really good practice to just do it. Okay, so then the power, this is level one, I mean zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need to go all the way down to four. Now you need to complete this triangle now. So uh, one plus one is two, and then one plus two is three, two plus one is three, um, three plus one is four, three plus three is six, three plus one is four. Okay, so we need these numbers, these are, um, these are very important for us. So what I want you to then do is just go write those numbers down. Leave a bit of a space though. Okay, that's a bit big, Kevin. Like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay, so we've written those numbers down. Now what I want you to do is the following. Um, just go write these two things down. So we're gonna put a Y, put it in a bracket though, Y and a two. Then Y and a two, um, Y and a two, y and a two, and then y and a two. The next thing I want you to do is for the first one, so you see this is the first part, this is the second part. So for the first part, I want you to start with this number, so four, and I want you to just count down, four, three, two, one, zero, and then for the other number, I want you to do it the opposite way around. So start at zero and count up. There we go. So some interesting things. If you look at these two numbers, they're always gonna add up to the power. See that? The one's going up and the one's going down, but they'll always add up to four. Okay, and now what we do is we just go neaten up where we can. So for example, two to the power of zero is one, so we'll just cancel that out. Actually, let's do that on another line. Okay, so let's, yeah. So it's gonna be one, y to the power four, and then the two zero cancels out. Now this part here um, is gonna be four, and then this part is a two, so four times two is eight. So we're gonna say eight y three, because there's a y three. The next part, which is this part over here, it's gonna be six, and then this is gonna be a four, because two to the power of two is four, so six times four is 24, y to the power of two, plus, and then four times 
um, 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. So 4 times 8 is 32. Y. And then plus, and then 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 16 times 1 is 16. And then Y to the power of 0 is nothing. So we just leave that out. And that's the answer. Wait, Kevin, are you saying like all that weird stuff my teacher was showing me and this is literally how we do it? Yep, that's how we do it, guys. Let's do some examples so we can just practice this a bit more. So step one, there's the power, okay? So we go make our Pascal triangle. So we actually have to go down to level or row five because the power and the row, they actually don't match up. I wish they did. Life would be easier, hey? So we have to go all the way down to there because remember, if you look at the power, uh, this is power zero. This is power one, this is power two, this is power three, and this one is power four. So let's go fix this up. So one plus one, you just gotta fill in the gaps, that's two. Then two plus one, that's three. And then two plus one, that's three. And then one plus three, that's four. And then three plus three, which is six. And then three plus one is four. Okay, so we've got our magic numbers. There they are. So you're just gonna go write those down for us quickly. So one, so just leave a bit of space because obviously we're going to fill the space up with some other stuff. Okay, then what I want you to do is uh, just go take this and this and just go write it in each place. So n and 3, n and 3. If it was a negative, you'd also put the negative. We'll probably do some of those just now. Okay, then the next step is you're just going to take this number over here and you're going to let that go to the first one. So you're going to start the first one at 4. And then you're just going to count down. Three, two, one, zero. And then for the other one, which is the three, you're just going to do it the other way around. So you start at zero. One, two, three, and four. That's it. And now you just go neaten up and simplify and do what you got to do. So for example, this is one. So that just cancels out. So for this part, we're just going to have n to the power of four. Then for this part, this, this part here, you're going to have n three. And then it's going to be four multiplied by three, which is? 12. And then for this part, it's 6 multiplied by 9, because that's what 3 to the power of 2 is. That's 54, n to the power of 2. And then for this part, it's 4 times 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. So 4 times 27, what's that? 108, I think. Let me just double check. Yep, 108, n uh, to the power of 1. And then uh, 1 times 3 to the 4, which is 81 and then n0 is nothing, so that just falls away. What's well, 1, so it just falls away. And there's your answer. Let's try another one. Ooh, lovely. So now we're going all the way to 5. So we're going to have to go a little bit further down on our Pascal triangle now. We're going to have to go down to row 6. So that's row 4, row 5, and row 6. Why row 6? Why not row 5? Well, because remember, the powers, they're always one behind. So this is actually power 0 power 1, power 2, power 3, power 4, power 5. Now we just go full in, so that's a 3, a 3, uh, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, um, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5. So these are the numbers that we are looking for. So what we'll do is we'll just go write them down. So 1 plus 5, plus 10, plus 10, plus 5, I think we need a bit more space there, plus 1. Okay, and now we're just going to go do what we always do. So we're going to say 2b, and we're going to put the 1, and then the t uh, we actually have a bit more space. I don't know why I'm squashing it up like that. And then what you do is you just take the first one, and you count the number down from 5. So 5, 4, 3, two, one, zero. And then the other one, you just go the other way around. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we just go neaten up and do what we can. So now you gotta be careful. This is two B to the power of five. So you gotta say two to the power of five, which is 32, and then B to the power of five, which is five. And then this part just falls away because it's just a one. Okay, and then we're gonna go plus. Now with this next part, uh, this two, is to the power of 4. So if you type that in your calculator, that's 16. 16 multiplied by 5 is 80. So you could just say 5 times 2 to the power of 4, and that's 80, and then b to the power of 4, 
This part doesn't do anything because it's a 1. The next part is 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 multiplied by 10 is 80. b to the power of 3. This part is 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. I'm ignoring the 1s because 1 to the power of anything is just 1. So that won't change anything. So that's going to become uh, 40, b to the power of 2. And then this next part will just become 10b. And this next part will just be 2b to the power of 0 is just a 1. So that whole part there is just going to be a 1. And there we go. So stick around because I've still got some really interesting examples coming up. For example, we've got one coming up with a negative. That does make a bit of a difference. And we've also got ones that are going to have x's and y's, whereas the previous ones have just been a number and a letter. But now we're going to have two letters. And then we've got another one with a negative. And I think that's our last example. Oh, no, and then we got this one as well. So stick around. We've got some interesting ones coming up. So here's our next one. So this is a power four. So we have to go to row five on our table or on our Pascal triangle. I don't know how this Pascal dude thought of this stuff. Like these people were really crazy. I don't know how they did this. Two plus one is three. Uh, one plus three is four. Three plus three is six. And three plus one is four. Okay, so let's just make sure we've got everything in that we need. So power. Um, this is power zero. Power 1. When I talk about power, I'm talking about this number, okay? To the power of. That's what I meant. Um, 2, 3, and 4. Yes, okay, so we want the 4. Great. So we are looking for uh, these numbers here. Okay, so that's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1. Okay, and then what you do, let me actually space that out a bit. We've got a bit more space. So plus four plus six plus four plus one. Okay, so now you're just gonna do what we normally did. So four y, uh, but always put it in brackets, uh, but we have been doing that anyway. So four y minus one, four y minus one, four y. So we use the minus one as well. We use the minus, okay? There we go. Then you just count down. So for the first one, it's always this number always goes to the first one. So 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then the other one is the opposite. So 0 counts up. 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now we just go do our thing. So um, 4 to the power of 4. Ooh, that's actually, what is that? 256. And then y to the power of 4. This would cancel out. It would become a 1. So we just leave that. Then we say... Uh, now we've got to be careful with this negative. This is why things become quite interesting. So I'll show you what I mean. So four, 4 to the power of 3, I think that's 64. Let me just double check on my good old calculator. Yeah, 64. Now, 64 times 4 is 256. So we're going to say 256. Um, y3. But then negative 1 to the power of 1 is negative 1. So that's going to cause this whole sign to become a negative. So we're actually going to change that to a negative. And that's what's interesting when negatives start coming into play. Now we're going to say plus. Now this negative 1 to the power of 2, if you put that in a bracket, which you must, on the calculator, you'll see that it's just a positive 1. So we don't have to worry about that part. It's not going to do anything. But this part here is going to be 16. Whoops. That's going to be 16 multiplied by 6 which is 96. So we're going to say 96y to the power of 2. And then if we go to the next part, um, here we're going to have 4 to the power of 1, which is just 4. But then you're going to times it by 4, which is 16. So it's going to be um, plus 16y uh, just to the power of 1. But then if you type that on your calculator, it's actually a negative 1. So it's going to cause this sign to become a negative. And then this next part, um, that negative 1 to the power of 4 is just a 1. This to the power of 0 is just a 1, and so that whole part is just going to be a 1. So with this one, we have a power 3. Okay, so that means we need to go down to row 4 on the Pascal triangle. Um, so now if we go fill this in, uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Why do I say row 4? Well, remember that if you fill in the powers, uh, this first row is power 0, then power 1, power 2, and power 3. So you see? Okay, so the numbers we're going to use are these over here. So it's going to be 1, 
like that. Okay, and what we do now is we just go fill in these things. So this one's quite interesting. So it's a y and then a negative 3x and then a y and a negative 3x and you just keep repeating it like that. Okay, and then we take this 3 and you just put it to the y. So 3, 2, 1, 0, and then the other one you start at 0 and you just count up. Perfect. Now we just go simplify. So this part falls away because anything to the power of 0 is a 1. So we end up with y to the power of 3 plus, now this part is just going to be 3y squared, and this part is negative 3x. So it's going to become negative 9, okay, so negative 9, because 3 times 3 is 9, um, and then xy squared. So x, and then there's a y squared, okay? And then the next part, so this here, what does that become? Well, that becomes um, 9x squared, because it's negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9, and then x to the power of 2 is x squared. So if you multiply that 9 and that 3, you get 27. Okay, so we're going to have plus 27 um, x squared and y. And then this next part, that falls away because anything to the power of 0 is 1. And then this part, um, negative 3, you can type this in your calculator. Negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27. And then x to the power of 3. So that part falls away and that part falls away. And so this is what we end up with as our final answer. So let's do a few more examples. So we have three more examples. So this one and then another two. So here we have a power of four. So we're gonna go down to row five on the Pascal triangle. Hope you're getting this Pascal triangle. Um, it takes a bit of time, but once you get it, it's super easy. Three, uh, one plus three is four, three plus three is six, three plus one is four. Okay, so that's what we want. We want these numbers over here. Because remember, if you fill in the power, uh, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Okay, and so these are the numbers we want. And so that's gonna be one plus four plus six plus plus four, plus one. Now what you do is you go take these values over here. So you take a uh, V and then, okay, wait, let's put plus four. Okay, we're gonna run out of space, hold on. Okay, that should be a bit better. So now we're gonna go V and then negative two U to the power of, f uh, no, what are you doing, Kevin? Jeez, what's this guy up to? Plus four <laughs> and then V and then negative two U and then uh, plus six and then a V, a negative two U, and then plus four with a V and a negative two U. Okay, let's, that needs to be a V. Okay, and this one needs to be a V. It looks like a U almost. And then this is a two U. Okay, I hate it when they use V and U together. They're so similar. And then um, plus one, and then it was V, and okay, we've run out of space. And then V, and negative two u. Okay, good stuff. Now you take this number and you put it to the first one. So that's that one. So four, three, two, one, zero. Then you use the other number, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just making a bit of space. Okay, now we just go simplify. So this falls away because that's a zero, that becomes a one. So you just end up with v to the power of four plus, now this part is gonna give us four v three. But when you multiply that by negative 2, you get negative 8. So that's going to become negative 8 v3 u. Okay? And then here you're going to have a 6, but then here you're going to have negative 2 to the power of 2. Now, please type that on your calculator, but do it in a bracket. So you'll see that it's positive 4, not negative. If you're getting negative, you're not using brackets. Um, so that's going to become positive 24, because 6 times 4 is 24. And... I'm actually going to put the u's first because of the alphabet. u and then v3. Um, and then for the 24 one, um, it's going to be u to the power of 2 and then uh, v to the power of 2. Okay, now for this next part, it's 4 multiplied by negative. So type that on your calculator uh, in brackets. Negative 2 to the power of 3, it's negative 8. And that multiplied by 4 is negative 32. So negative 32, um, u to the power of 3 and v. 
And then the next part is, uh, this is a one. And then this part here is, so negative two to the power of four, if you do it in a bracket, it's gonna be 16 uh, u to the power of four, because this part will just fall away. And that would be the final answer. Let's go to our next example. So we have two more examples, this one and this one. Okay, so hang in there. If you made it this far, you're a legend. Okay, so here we're gonna go to um, power three, so that means row four on pa Pascal's triangle. There we go. Um, just to remind you why, so if you look at the powers, this is power zero, this is power one, this is power two, and this is power three. Okay, so these are the numbers that we need, one, three, three, one. So we're gonna say one plus three. Okay, we got way more space. There we go. Now what we do is, ooh, this is quite a good one. We're gonna go take these things now, and we're just gonna go put them next to each other. So U3 in brackets, of course, and V2. Then U3 and V2, that's a U. There we go. And then U3 and then V2, and then U3 and V2. Okay, and then you take this number and you go to the first one, so that's the U3, so you go three, then you just count down to zero, and then for the other one, you start at zero and you count up to three. Okay, and now, uh, I don't know why there's a huge gap over here. By the way, this is the Nile River. <laughs> See the river flowing there? That's how wide it is. Okay, that was really bad. Um, okay, so now we use the power, so U3, U3 to the power of three is not six, it's nine, because you multiply those exponents, and then you're gonna say plus. Um, now this becomes u6, because it's three times two, so it's gonna be three u6 v2, because that's just gonna be a two. And then you're gonna say plus three, um, u3 over here, so u3, and then v4, okay? And then um, this just falls away, because anything to the power of zero is just one, and then you're gonna multiply those two, which is gonna be a six, so you're gonna end up with v6. Last example, let's do it. So it's to the power of three, so we're gonna have to go to row four on the Pascal triangle. So let's do it. There we go. Now one plus one is two, two plus one is three, two plus one is three. Okay, so it's these numbers over here once again that we're gonna use. So one plus three plus three plus one. Okay, and then we're just gonna take uh, the first part and the second part in the bracket. So it's gonna be A and then negative two B2 and then A negative two B2 and then A negative two B2 and A and negative two B2. And then you're just gonna take this number and put that to the first one. So that's gonna be three, um, two, one, zero. And then you're gonna say uh, zero, one, two, and three. Okay, let's go do our thing. So this falls away uh, because anything to the power of zero is just a one. So we're just gonna end up with a three. And then this part is gonna be three a squared. And this part is just gonna be negative two b two. So that's gonna become negative six a squared b squared. Always feel free to pause if you need to quickly just make sure for yourself. Okay, and then we go to the next part. So this is gonna be three and then negative two to the power of two, in brackets please, in brackets, otherwise you're gonna say that it's negative four, but if you do it in brackets, it's positive four, and that's correct. So that's gonna become 12, because three times four is 12, um, and then that's gonna be a, b to the power of four, because of that over there. Then we go to the next part, where this part just falls away. Now here we've got negative two to the power of three. Uh, let me just rewrite this one, it's a bit squashed, isn't it? So it's gonna be a one, and then an a to the zero, and a negative two b two, I swear this didn't make any difference. Negative two b two to the power of three. Um, what a rookie. So, okay, so um, this is just one, this is just one. Now if you say negative two to the power of three in your calculator, that's gonna give you negative eight. So negative eight, and then b to the power of six, because this is a two, and that's a three, and so we multiply them to become b to the power of six. And that is it. Thanks for joining, and well done if you made it this far.